We're here with head coach Mike McConaughey after a uh, in the 84-79 victory against McNeese. First, what are your kind of overall thoughts? It, uh, you kind of it was a huge win to put you guys in position to uh, keep a keep McNeese in the rearview mirror, I suppose. For uh, and then your race to for the conference seating. I guess. Well, one of the things that you always got to try to get home wins, which we had faltered where we lost three, but to win against a really well coached, highly skilled McNeese team that, you know, at the end of the game made five or six threes, or five threes in a row to cut a 13 point deficit down to three with 12 seconds to go. Fortunately, we were able to step up and make free throws, so we're excited about that. Really proud of our guys, though, because, because we were challenged at halftime. 38-33, they come out, score their first two buckets, and then we went on a run to go ahead and did a great job. Roy Dale Brown had an unbelievable first half with a double-double in the first half. We held him to four and two in the second half, rebounders and two points. A great job. But uh, did a phenomenal job. I thought that we had low turnovers with 10. Uh, didn't rebound extremely well. The first time in a while we hadn't rebounded, but you know, I'll take that win and not rebound in this case because we did a great job. Shot 52 and 54% from the floor, did a great job, and 85% from the free throw line. So we're, we did a great job. I thought it was a great team effort. We had guys coming in and making small efforts at time. Great play by Chudy A. Bile, great play by Larry Owens, Jamari Greg, Greg had some moments, Nikos uh, Ugas had some moments, uh, CJ Jones stepping up and making the free throws along with Brian White down the stretch, and Trenton Master were big along with Chudy A. Bile. So it was it was, overall, it was a great effort against a highly talented team and very well coached team. And then uh, you you mentioned briefly about the th about the free throw shooting. They uh, you made 17 of 20, and a lot of those were down the uh, down the stretch in crunch time. But after they made, uh, like you said, five or six threes right in a row, you got uh, you got to be impressed with the uh, free throw shooting. Well, I was very impressed with the free throw shooting, but I was very impressed with. Uh, some of the plays that we made on the ball during that last three minutes of the game, and offensively we attacked them, and kind of more or less, uh, Trudy Bile had a great dunk, uh, had a couple of monster blocks that were huge, and it put us in a position to where uh, we could impose our will on someone, and we did a great job with that, and they are extremely talented. Then defensively, you allowed, uh, allowed over 80 points against them last time, this time uh, 79, but uh, they had 60 with about two minutes to go. So uh, what adjustments did you make uh, from game one to game two? Well, I just thought we did a lot better job of, of, of guarding Shamarcus Kennedy, who's a really good player. And I thought that we made him work up until that last two minutes of the game. You know, we made him work really, really hard to uh, to get what they were. A.J. Lawson's a really talented player. I thought Nikos' height was uh, was a big factor in maybe keeping him a little bit at bay, but he's a very, very talented player and really, really a great young man. And then, uh, then finally, your bench out's going 30-3, to three, led by 15 from uh, Jairus Roberson. So talk about, uh, talk about how important that was. Well, you know, anytime you can get points from guys that don't start, and it's not who starts, it's who finishes. And so it really made a huge difference for us to be able to get guys to come in and play. And, and we, we're growing to be more and more unselfish as players to understand when I go in, I gotta do what my job is at that time. Okay, thank you, Coach.